Mastering the SAT, Average Time Per Question. Hello learners! Today, we're diving into the world of the SAT and focusing specifically on a crucial aspect of test taking, time management. One of the essential keys to managing your time effectively on the SAT is understanding the average time you have per question. So, without further ado, let's get started. The SAT is not just a test of your knowledge, but also a test of your strategy and time management. Each section of the SAT has a limited amount of time, and there's a set number of questions you have to answer within that time frame. Hence, ensuring you allocate the right amount of time per question can make a significant difference in your performance. The SAT is broken down into multiple sections, including evidence-based reading, writing and language, and math, both with and without a calculator. Here's a brief breakdown. Evidence-based reading, 65 minutes for 52 questions. Writing and language, 35 minutes for 44 questions. Math, no calculator, 25 minutes for 20 questions. Math, with calculator, 55 minutes for 38 questions. Using this information, we can calculate the average time you have for each question in every section. Let's do the math. Evidence-based reading. 65 minutes divided by 52 questions equals approximately 1.25 minutes or 75 seconds per question. Writing and language. 35 minutes divided by 44 questions equals approximately 0.8 minutes or 48 seconds per question. Math, no calculator. 25 minutes divided by 20 questions equals 1.25 minutes or 75 seconds per question. Math, with calculator. 55 minutes divided by 38 questions equals approximately 1.45 minutes or 87 seconds per question. Understanding these numbers can help you gauge how long you should spend on a single question before moving on. 1. Practice with a timer. Familiarize yourself with the timing by taking practice tests with a stopwatch. This helps you internalize the rhythm of the exam. 2. Don't get stuck. If you find a challenging question, it's okay to move on and return to it later. Spending too much time on one question can compromise your time on others. 3. Review. At the end of each section, if you have extra time, review the questions, especially the ones you weren't sure about. Time management is a critical skill when tackling the SAT. By understanding the average time per question for each section, you equip yourself with a powerful tool to navigate the test effectively. We hope this video has shed light on how you can strategize your approach. Best of luck, and happy studying!